hello everyone welcome back to the maxudi youtube channel how are you today it's a bright weather out and it's the week of love yeah 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 this week is um a valentine's week yeah two days from now we're gonna be having we're gonna be celebrating the valentine's day so all you lovers out there um whether you get um, you know in a relationship just getting married celebrating your anniversaries this is the dress for you yes totally uh, adorn your 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 bridesmaids in this and you will thank me later all right so um i'm here to tell you how we made this very beautiful dress yes this dress like i said earlier it can be worn by your bridesmaids and then again you can wear it out on a date with that special somebody yeah or dress it up dress it down it can do and work wonders and what's more it's in the color red and white okay so are you new here do go and subscribe to our channel every week we bring you brand new videos if we're not inspiring you on all of the possibilities of crochet we are walking you through how we made one of our bespoke pieces. It could be apparel, it could be accessories, it could be um, interior decor or even exterior decor, as the case may be. We have our galleries up on Instagram for our wedding apparel. We have that at um, Makisudi Weddings. And then for our, um, for our uh, corporates, our casuals, our accessories, we have those at Makisudi models do feel free to um subscribe to our youtube channel um follow our instagram handles you know leave a nice comment and um, share our videos yes we'd love that very much share our videos with as many people as you you know know would um benefit from those videos all right so do go subscribe okay so back to this dress it is um a very beautiful dress it is short right this was made short however it can be crafted in any length of your choice you could make it all the way to the ankle you could make it up as a as a top if you if you like even yeah you can make it up as a top but this one we made it as a dress just above the knee yeah as you can see on the model so um it's made with um essentially Hound tooth stitches up here, yeah. This area all here, everything here was hound tooth stitch. If you don't know the hound tooth stitch, is a combination of the single crochet stitch and the double crochet stitch worked alternately, alternately, yeah, throughout the row, and then this um, you, you repeat that. But of course, on the on the on the following row, it's gonna be a single crochet stitch in a double crochet stitch, and then a double crochet stitch in a single crochet stitch. We have videos on our on our channel on how to work that so if you need that do let me know and i will um, tag you when i see your request all right so this top part was made in hound's tooth and then the lower part i'll call this lower part the v hound's tooth still all right that's all how we worked this is a v stitch uh, we have um about three rows of normal v stitch double crochet v stitch uh, v stitch rows yeah normal crochet v stitch rows and then we have that rule right there that is um that is um a hound's tooth rule yeah however we made it a v so it's a hound's tooth v meaning the single crochet stitch and the double crochet stitch are separated by a chain that's what that means all right so that we created and then it it, it works out beautifully for whenever we want to make something this you know unique all right okay so where did we start from we started from this area right here right we walked from 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 here is where we walked right we walked downwards first okay so essentially this dress you're going to be walking it in one two three about four different parts but this is where we started from you can choose what works for you but i'm just telling you how we made ours so we started from this armpit region and walked downwards first like i said with the hound stood stitch now the different thing that happened right here is that there was a a mix of white and red um uh, uh, red color yarn so we had this um this, this this is how it came out yeah at the end of the day okay so when we got to the to the navel region to the dust around the waist we now um switched to single crochet stitch rows so we have about uh, two single crochet stitch rows right this was to snatch this waist region back and then to give us a, a platform from which to launch this uh, our, our gathered pack right so 
this part right here we have to work into every stitch into every single crochet stitch we work the v stitch so that's why it came out looking you know there, there's this volume here yeah to obtain this volume you have to do that and yes we also did it in um, lighter weight yarn than what was used up here so it gives you this very shimmy you know when when you want to shimmy it makes your shimming really really easy all right so um, a v stitch coming out of every single crochet stitch gives it this volume right and then you work that for as well for as long as you want it like i said earlier we wanted this one to just end above the knee so what little extra we did was that we gave it a slit yeah so when we got to a point yeah when we got to about three um three inches to the end of the work we now slit it we divided the, the work into the front panel and the back panel right and then work some more rows down you can keep this equal or you can make the back the, the back panel a little longer than the front panel which is what we did here now when we're done with that we now edged everything meaning edge the base into the slits that we did with um yeah with uh, v stitches as well we did that with v stitches as well so into every v stitch we inserted two v stitches that uh, created, created a lot more volume than one what we had here earlier so at this part two v stitches into every v stitch would give it this uh, extra volume as you can see there right so when we're done with that we edge nicely with our single crochet stitch right single uh, single crochet stitch with the chain stitches yeah that's how that was edged so when we're done with this with the lower part of course the upper part we still have that to work on okay so we now started working with it we didn't want um, the usual sleeve that comes up this way so what we wanted was to have this um, slant here like this asymmetrical look all right so we we reduced a stitch on either side every row one stitch drop one stitch drop every row one stitch drop one stitch drop until we got to this to this point just below just so that you're not choking the wearer right so we stopped it right there and then we did the same for the back panel right this is what we did for the back panel you can see we have this space right here so after we reduced our rows right one stitch each on either side up to this point we now divided it right divided the, the back panel again and walked up a few uh, rows causing it to slant this way now how to cause it to slant is that you're going to skip a stitch this way right you're going to maintain even number of stitches however on this side as you're skipping that stitch whatever stitch you're skipping here you're adding it to this side it causes here to slant whatever stitch you're skipping here you're adding it here so i had to maintain 10 stitches you know that 10, 10 stitches from here to there so I skip a stitch uh, into the last stitch. I'm going to be inserting two stitches, right? That's how we achieve this, okay? And then when you get to the number of stitches that you had up front, up front we had 10. Sorry, up front we had 20. So, so when we got to where uh, you could, we know we could join it. We now joined both, worked it up a bit more so that this comes up at least uh, up to where, um, close up to the neck, all right? Before we now inserted this part right so that's it that's it that's it really it's a very easy um work yeah to to create this uh, strap just two stitches two stitches two stitches walked up a few rows right and that's about it so because all of this is edging edging is what cost is we edged with single crochet stitches around this neck this neckline we also edged with single crochet stitches around this armhole that's why it gives some more width to this uh, strap all right so note that yeah so the, the strap was originally worked with just two stitches right but the edging of the neckline and the edging of the armhole gave the strap a little bit more weight then lastly we added this flower interesting thing about this flower is that it is a rose flower however we did not wrap it as tightly or we did not wind it as tightly as a rose flower should be wound. What we did was that we wound it a little bit flatter, which gave us this look. And it's really, really sturdy. Why? Um, we used um, a smaller hook size for this part. If you use a smaller hook size for this part, you get a very sturdy um, rose, right? Yeah, so that, that's about it. Here, what did we do? We created a ball, a crochet ball. 
a crochet ball we just kept single crochet stitches all around keep going round and round and round and round and then it creates a ball eventually and that's how we uh, inserted that in there to give it this extra beautiful look right your bridesmaids would totally slay in this right if you want it longer you can actually make that now guess what have you imagined this in all round white just imagine it for a moment you know all round white or in your favorite color for your wedding day yes this can totally work as a wedding dress all you have to do is probably add give it more volume if you want to or give it more length and that's about it just tweak here add there subtract there and then you get whatever style that you dream of yeah crochet is a world of possibilities you can see one person's um, design and it sparks up all kinds of designs in your own mind so that's about it for this our dress yeah if you have questions about any part of it that wasn't quite clear feel free to ask us in the comment sections and and then we will um, do something a little bit more explicit for you remember to subscribe to our channel remember to follow our instagram handles and all of that thank you so much for watching bye for now